never having anybody tell you what to do, never having anybody yell at you, just people passing you by saying how good you look for your age. That's so morbid, dear. Dead. It's not morbid. It is when you're so young. She's just trying to make us feel guilty. I'm not doing any such thing, Father. Oh, no, I want to be dead. That's a great statement coming from a 16 year old. How's that for a goal for today, shoot me? I want to be a mother. Now, Ben, didn't anyone ever laugh at you when you said you wanted to be a fireman when you were little? That was normal. This is sick. Oh, that was sick, huh? Why don't you send me out to some state hospital? They'll take good care of me there. You like that? No, but you would. No, Ben! Don't do that! <laughs> Remember that? When was the last time you helped me? 
When was the last time you helped anybody? But Chris, he's busy now. It was about the last time you stopped helping me. Don't blame me. I've given you everything. But you both got so busy. Busy doing what? She's not a cheerleader. She doesn't play basketball. She's not on the honor roll. Lord knows she's not that honest side stuff. That's not she doesn't have any friends. That's not fair. She doesn't do anything. Give her time, Ben. Time for what? I have friends. Fast Freddy, he'll dump you off on a deep end. As soon as he's had enough, he's no good and you know it. He's already got you in trouble. This guy went to a concert with That's you. not what I'm talking about. Ben, please. Can't we discuss this later? Suits me fine. What other trouble? Later, your mother said. I do not, really. I hate to be a father. I want to know what you're talking about. Call Gordy or Miss Aldrich. We'll be ready in a moment. You want to know? Milton told me he checked your locker. He went. He doesn't have any right. The school owns the lockers. They got the right. They can't do that. Yes, they can, and they did. What do you find? He gave me this. I worry about her, Ben. 
She's just trying to make you feel guilty because she feels sorry for herself. But I don't feel guilty. You know what I feel? I feel pity. That's a little pity. That's right. Pity for my own child. One morning, I went upstairs to her room and I couldn't bear the sadness. I cried for an hour. You're right. She isn't a cheerleader. She isn't smart. She isn't in one club. She doesn't have one true friend. She's got nothing. She's got us. I rest my case. Mom, Chrissy, dear, feeling better? Oh, Mom, Chrissy, it's your husband. It's my dad. What are you doing? Move any closer and I'll shoot you, Mr. Jarrett. Is that
Jesus. She tried to take our dog. She wouldn't have hurt you. She only had one bullet, right? She's done this before? She comes looking for Caroline. Always oh, looking for Caroline. It was all true? Yeah, they took Caroline right here, 15 years ago. Three months after four of my local husband. They took it like that. They saw it like a toy or a candy bar. We looked for years. Now Violet comes back to me and she can't. I'm trying to take her mind for you. <coughs> she should see a doctor. But they take her away. They lock her up. I know they would. It'd be best. She shouldn't be running around. Please, don't send her to me. She needs help, man. I'm all the help she needs. I'm her pop. She's all I got. Is this your girl here? Yes. What if she were Violet? Would you have to take her on? No, you'd keep her. You'd not to her, wouldn't you? Yes. Violet will be all right. I'll take her back home and she'll be real good. Just please, don't say anything. We just want to leave her. We won't say anything. Will we, Ben? No. Bless you, folks. Bless you. You know, when we sit to dinner, she has to have a bad cook back and watch her. I, I agree, and that's a spoiler, poor girl. Maybe someday if I could tell her why somebody up in took care of life, maybe then she'll stop with it. But I guess there won't be no answer to that. Violet, come back, honey. It's time to go home. Violet, come on, Violet. It's time to go home. Oh, my God. There's so much wickedness in the world, so much sadness. Dad, if I were her, would you keep me? Of course your father would be there. Would you? Yes. I, I never meant to write that. No, you said what you felt, and I think you had a good reason to feel that way. No. Yes. When I saw that gun pointed at you, I thought about you back in that crate. I thought about you stacking those baseballs. I thought I might lose you. Did I thought? Well, you're a good girl, Christy, and I never meant to have you think about me. I never meant to hurt you so much. I never knew I did. That Miss Hodges left her book here. Should we take it? No, leave it here. I have a feeling she'll be back. Maybe tomorrow she'll find another Caroline. Here we go. 
thank you for the food and for bringing our family out here together on this vacation. Let's hope it does something. Amen. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, I'm just hoping you'll grow up a little on this.